Yep. Dang. Real nice. I think I gotta adjust these handlebars a little bit. You gotta raise them up? Yeah, then I'm gonna try to raise it. Yeah, it's like I like to switch off the whole feet to cruise on top of my, my, my 10 speed. They're, they're off the street now. I kind of like this or something like this, like just a casual evening ride. I'm not in a hurry and, you know, it's a nice one speed. I don't have to worry about changing. Yeah, look real nice. So this is this is Largo right here, right? Yeah, luckily this one is um this one I bought like five years ago I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I bought it like five years ago. And this is a USB charger, so I could just charge it right on the wall. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that. Yeah. yeah. And then also the one I have back here, that one's actually pretty cool. I didn't know, but um <laughs> one of the lights I have because I have different options um, for the one on the back. And one of them is actually one that flashes red and flashes blue. Oh, okay. And I can't, legally I can't use that one. Oh, I gotta yeah, check. Yeah. I have to check though. I have to check um, with the laws or you know what's legal or not. Because I know certain lights you can use and I think it just, uh, I think they only refer to motor, motor vehicles. Okay. But you never know because police officers can be on bicycles as well. So, um, but yeah, I know that they mentioned that red and blue lights you you can't have because then technically you're they can charge you with like impersonating a police officer. Yeah, yeah I remember reading up about that. Because um, yeah, because there were stories about people actually doing that, like um, in Miami actually. There's people who put those lights on because they can buy um, those Ford Crown Victorias. Yeah. So they can buy one of those cars and it'll still have all the features, oh, like the okay. lights and stuff. Yeah. So there was people who did that. They bought those cars and they would pull over people and then they would rob them. Yeah. Oh my God. Because they, they would think it's a cop and then they would rob them and get away. I was like that. I was thinking some my right path. It looks nice, I like the fence is real nice. Yeah. Uh, nice little street back here. Yeah. And we got that smooth pavement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that smooth pavement for a little bit. Out real quick. Did you get something in the mail? It's like a yellow flyer from um, the town, and it was asking about um, to vote on like certain things in the town or something that. like that. No, I didn't see that. You got yeah. it in the mail? Yeah, I received it in the mail. It's like this yellow flyer, um, and I think you have to like go online uh -huh. 
and vote on something in the town. No, I don't recall seeing anything like that. Yeah, it's something about the, uh, like they want to spend their money correctly. So um, they, they want to take a vote on, you know, what they should spend their money on and things like that. So is this it right here? Will we make that right? Or, uh, no, we got to go over this one, right? Yeah, this is it from last time. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> so when we, uh, if you ever go on the Pinellas Trail going south, uh -huh. there's a bunch of overpasses. Oh, okay. <laughs> there's, um, yeah, I like riding this trail at night too, man. Well, yeah, in the summer, in the summertime when it's warm, I like to go out in the evening, like after supper. But, you know, it stays lighter until like, you know, eight o'clock or so. And then you get away from some of that, you know, the sun. They put that sign up there. Hey, like, to go to downtown Largo. I actually have to check out a few restaurants, new restaurants that are there. I think there's an Indian restaurant that opened up in downtown Largo. Well, the little, the little strip that we have of a downtown. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 